Hey guys, this is Dodoid. So, a lot of YouTube channels do advent calendars, where for the 25 days leading up to Christmas, they will do a short little video about something that doesn't really justify being a, a full video, but is a little thing on its own. So, we're going to start off on December 1st with this behemoth of a thing, which is a Motorola CPX2000 compact PCI chassis. So, you can see in the front, there's a bunch of weird connectors inside. Um, those are Compact PCI, and it's a way for modular computer systems to be built and to communicate via a bit of a standard. So this is the chassis, and you can see we have, we have two things in here. The first one in the front is a single board computer. So we can pull on these and pull the unit out, and you see on the thing there's a Pentium 2 processor, uh, the connector for the Compact PCI chassis, and some RAM. So this is just a little computer, but what's really interesting is that this is a modular system. So the other slots can in, can have all kinds of other things that can all communicate over a bit of a standard protocol. And I don't know exactly what this chassis was used for, but from where I got it, I can guess that it was probably used for either telecom systems or cable TV. So that gives you an idea for the sort of industrial application you would have used one of these things for. So there's the computer in there. It's just an x86 board. Not that interesting. Uh, behind this door, we have a CD drive. We have a hard drive. We have a floppy drive and a power switch and a bunch of dirt in the bottom. And here's one thing that's interesting. This is SCSI on the computer, so you'd think the disk is SCSI too. Uh, no, for some reason, uh, the disk, which you have to take the door off to access, is IDE, not SCSI. So you can see, that's an IDE connector in there, as are the other things. So the only SCSI on this is external, which is kind of strange. The chassis itself, IDE. So on the back, we have a power supply, a fan for the drives, and this. Uh, this, according to the internet, is called a rear transition module, but according to me, it's called it doesn't do anything. Now, I can take it out, and I'll show it to you, and as you can see, the drives actually plug into it, which is one of the reasons I haven't been able to install an operating system on this yet, but as you can see, it's a small board, practically nothing on it, and I cannot get it to do a single thing. So, let's power this thing up, you can still use it from the front, and I'll show you the BIOS, because, again, I can't make the disk work. So now we have everything but the machine itself plugged in, so we can go around to the back and plug this into the power supply. And the second you plug it in, the power supply starts making noise, but turn the actual computer on, you have to flick this. And then it makes some more noise, and a lot of dust comes out. But you can see, the monitor will come up, and we can enter the BIOS. Um, we, you can see we have 64 megs of RAM and a Intel Pentium 2 at 333 megahertz. And um, this is as far as I've been able to get on this machine. Because, as I said, I can't get the rear transition module, which is where the disks plug in, to, you know, do something. So, we'll get to the BIOS, and you can see, it doesn't know what date it is, it thinks it's 1988. And, um, that's as much as I've managed to do with this machine for now. But, uh, I just thought I'd show it to you, and stay tuned for more Advent Calendar videos. Thanks for watching, bye!